What's up all? I want to do a quick video just to show you the uh, ThinkWork impact bolt and nut remover set. It's pretty much for strip bolts, strip nuts. Um, I have two strip bolts thanks to opening the wrenches that I bought on Amazon. So I've got two bolts that are stripped. One is a 13 millimeter, one is a 14 on a different car. I'm going to try them out. So I currently have a 13 millimeter bolt. I need to get out that is stripped. So this is what this extractor looks like. It's kind of got like a leaf type design and on the inside it looks like different ways to extract. So it looks like it just kind of grabs onto the bolt and pulls it out. I'm going to try it you know in real time to show you if this really works because I have no idea. Just bought it and uh, it's in a super precarious place. It's behind this in there. Let me show you the light. Yep, you're not going to be able to see it. Right down all the way in there. There's a 13 millimeter nut. Yeah, you can kind of see it right next to the red wire. That 13 millimeter nut right there has been stripped and I have to find a way to pull it out. So I'm going to work on that right now to show you if this does anything. Alright, so quick update. Uh, you know, I don't want to BS, obviously, I want to be honest about this. It looks like I'm getting my bolt off. See, as you can see, it's actually spinning now. And this, I wasn't able to use the... Uh-oh. Oh, no. I'm starting to slip a little here. Uh-oh. Shouldn't have paying attention. Uh, but I wasn't able to use the 13 millimeter wrench on this yet i guess i, I used a 14 because i wasn't able to get it far enough on there to use it but i might need to use a little more pressure hopefully not strip this out more I'll get back to the 13. Let's see what this did to the socket i mean i got it turning so that's something but eh, looks okay oh, i'll try the 13 again. doing a good job so far. Uh, number 13 is going to work, so I'm going to get back to this and do it real carefully. All right, so just an update. I was able to get this bolt out, like I said, of the back over here. That's where the stud is, right? Sorry, that's going to be terrible. Right where my finger is, that's where the stud is. Uh, so I was able to pull it out, finally. So I'm able to get this off, thank God, because this is preventing me from doing my alternator. Kit's pretty good. So I used a combo, it's a 13 millimeter bolt, but I had a little trouble with the 13 initially. So I initially, just to get it moving, I was using the 14. So the 14 started me on there, but the uh, problem with this kit, I mean, it worked because it got it out, so whatever, it doesn't matter. It really galls these up. I wish you can look at it. This was not nearly the strip before it came out, but. I mean, I think it's just in the nature of getting out something that's stripped is you got to deform it to get it out. So this thing really cuts it up. I think if you have an area like a bolt that's much easier to get to than this ridiculous thing, which look how much room my arm has to go down there. I'm 200 pounds. There. So if you have a bolt that's in a more accessible area, it's probably a lot better than what I had to deal with. But uh, I, I recommend the kit. It was 30 bucks. It does bolts all the way from quarter inch to 19 millimeters there there is a bigger kit this is the smallest kit um there's an attachment for a screw in here this is a punch so you can knock out a bolt if it gets fully stuck to one of these mine luckily wasn't because it was crap but it's out and i mean this saves me from going to a shop so 30 bucks going to a shop totally different so yeah i'd recommend it uh it's on amazon i'll put a link down there if you guys got any questions feel free to reach out thank you bye